Well, yo, welcome back. Today we are looking at a few different varieties for cyber decks, handheld computers, talking computers, if you will, and kind of my opinions of what I think are the best ones on the market right now. And if you're looking for one, then what you probably should want to go with. Uh, so we have a Hackberry CM5, we have the U console by Clockwork, and then we have the Hackberry Zero here. Uh, the CM5 was sent to me by a friend of mine, as well as the Zero here. Uh, so these are loaners, and then the U console is my personal one. Diving into it, we'll go to the Zero here. This is the Zero. Uh, it runs on a Raspberry Pi Zero, obviously W02W. You can see it right there. That's the little guy. And compute power is going to be minimal because of that. It also has two batteries on the back here. These are the BL5Cs that it runs on. You only need one, but I threw another one in there because you get more runtime. Um, but because it is a zero, it's not going to be very proficient or it won't have the full oomph. Do a lot of the stuff like SDR. Uh, it can do it, but it's going to be very, very laggy. It'll be best for like probably gaming or Kali Linux type stuff. Uh, basic computing needs. Diving into the CM5 over here. The CM5 is running on a CM5. Uh, the difference is, is the size. The keyboard stays the same. It is using that Blackberry style keyboard. Uh, the screen is also uh, slightly bigger on the CM5 version. The case obviously is bigger, better battery. This is a 3D printed case. This is a actual aluminum housing with a 3D printed uh, middle insert there that kind of keeps everything sandwiched together. Uh, on the top there we have our sleep button, our light on the side here, our full HDMI. We have a small little GPIO port and then our SD card there. And then we have a, I think this is a sleep button. And then we have the screen or the keyboard and trackball on and off switch right here. And then on the bottom we have little light indicators to show us our power level as well as the main on and off switch down here and then a USB-C charging port. My complaint with this guy is that sometimes during use uh, or setting it down or just not even being aware of it, you can hit the on and off switch and then it you know, will shut off. So not very ideal there. Uh, we have two USB-A's on the side here. Uh, going back to the zero here, we have the same features. We have the SD card slot right here with a small GPIO and then we have uh, two USB A's and then on the side we have another USB A and USB C on the bottom of our charging. The big complaint about this is the kind of track pads here for the Hackberry Blackberry style keyboard. Right clicking, copying, pasting the things that we all do and that we all love for efficiency uh, is kind of difficult on these and you could go in the kind of key board layout and create those shortcuts to do such things. I haven't done it yet, but there's an option. So if not, then you're stuck using a actual USB mouse or a wireless mouse uh, to gain access to a kind of mouse like feature because if not, then you're stuck with the trackpad and it's not the best thing. Like I said, if you want to do some SDR stuff because a lot of you guys watching are under ham radio and or uh, just radio in general. Uh, so you could do SDR stuff via SDR++, which you can download on this, or SDR Brown. And then, of course, plugging in a dongle like the RTL SDR like this. If you have a Pluto Plus SDR, I uh, believe that is also available for the SDR++. Um, and then, of course, if you wanted to dive in further and do some programming, you could do one of these other SDRs like the TRX Duo or the Web88. Let's talk about let's talk about availability for these. Currently, this guy is sold out. This is the S. This is the Hackberry Pi Zero Two W. Uh, you do need the W on that on that uh, zero because if not, then you're not going to be able to do any Bluetooth or Wi-Fi features. You'll be stuck with adding a dongle like a caveman. So make sure that if you have one of these or you're going to buy one, definitely get the Zero Two W board. Uh, these guys run for, I think, 135-ish, not including the Raspberry Pi 02W, and those are an additional 15 to 20 bucks, depending where you source them from. So your total is going to be roughly about $160 for this alone. Uh, and I think it comes with one battery. Additional batteries are like $7 for two of them on Amazon. So $168-ish, $67 uh, for the standard Hackberry Pi. 
Now, if you're looking at the CM5 here, the aluminum housing one, I believe these are 165. Give me one second while I check that. So the Hackberry Pi CM5 Q20 runs 168. It does not come with a CM5 compute module or a CM4. Uh, so you will need to source it out on your own. Uh, it is just the actual units and no computer built into it. Uh, they have them in blue, red, and black. And yeah, that's kind of the gist on that. If I was going to pick one of these two, I would definitely pick the CM5 or the Zero because one, because of its compute processing power. Two, because housing, it feels very solid in your hands. It feels like a very well-built unit. And then a screen size, of course, it is touchscreen. Grand total, if you're going to be looking at one of these, uh, CM5 chips roughly are about 100 bucks, depending again where you source them from. The one I got was 120 ish, and then this is a loaner. But if I was to buy this, that would put me at $168. So you're looking at roughly $300 for this, or 300, $280 ish dollars for this. Uh, so that's kind of up there when it comes to a kind of handheld computer slash cyber deck. Uh, so then your next option is going to be the U console Clockwork Pi. And this guy uh, is running a CM4 chip. Uh, I know what you guys are gonna say in the comments, if you can find one, cause they're not, they're not shipping or they're impossible to find or their shipping is still delayed. I get it, I understand. I waited just like everybody else that purchased one is currently waiting as well. U console is $204 from U console's direct website. I know that you can find these on AliExpress as well or other sources like such, but they are $204. Um, let's see here. If you're going to order one of these, the best way to get it to your door is going to be without a CM4 chip or CM5 chip. Get silver. And uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. Silver and without a CM4 chip. And then you're almost semi-guaranteed. You're not taking my word for it, but you fall in that 90-day bracket to receive yours. When I got mine two years ago... I ordered it on March 30th. I had it in my hands by June 30th. Of course, I just bought my own CM4 chip. That was 80 bucks back then. Um, I'm sure you can find them cheaper than that now. And then, of course, just paint it yourself. I did a video on Cerakoting this myself with the kind of uh, light brushed uh, white and then a splattered teal there. I'll probably paint it again here in a few months, but you can see here up top that that is the original silver and then this is the paint and then of course with the splatter marks that i did and then there's the back too i take this all off to keep all the graphics how i wanted them and then just painted the rest you get a trackball which i appreciate more than the hackberry pie little dealy there so trackballs kind of matter uh you get of course left uh right and left clicking with the left and right there. And then of course it also is a bigger screen. It works pretty well as a gaming unit if you are into kind of vintage games. Uh, these are all Raspberry Pi based systems. So then of course they can run any of your retro Pi style games on there. Uh, and then of course, getting into the SDR functionality of this, we did a video on the Hacker Gadgets all-in-one SDR board uh, a few months ago. So this is it up here. We got GPS, we have 915 for your LoRa and Meshtastic needs. And then we have our Wi-Fi here. And then we have an additional port here for any, any other antennas that you may want to add. One there and then one on the side. If you wanted to reorient your antennas around, you could do so easily by just unplugging the uh, little connectors there and then moving them around. Screen size matters. And then um, this one runs on two 18650s. So you will need to provide those on your own as well. So that's going to be an initial $14, $15. So for a clockwork view console, not including wait time. And again, this is gonna be kind of dealer's choice there of what you're gonna be wanting to go with, but I did wanna showcase and kind of discuss the three options that I would recommend for a handheld unit. So PCB Way has been a long time sponsor of this channel. I greatly appreciate them and all that they have done for us and what they create and offer. Uh, if you don't know who PCB Way is, they offer PCB assembly, printing, um, they can help you with your designs and features, as well as they offer 3D printing, CNCing, uh, milling, and then injection molding. Uh, so yeah, if you guys have a project that you're looking at doing, creating, or that you want to see come from your thoughts to actual tangible foldable item, then definitely go and check out PCB. I will put a link 
in the description below for a coupon to save yourself some dollars from your first order. Thank you PCB Way for your support and continued support through this channel and I greatly appreciate it. I kind of wanted to make this video for you guys that may be in the market for a cyber deck of sorts. Christmas is right around the corner, so maybe you would like one of these in your stocking or under the tree, depending on what your budget is. The U console, roughly 300 and some change by the time you're done with it, unless you already have a CM4 or 5 to plug in there. Hackberry Pi CM5 aluminum version as well, $168, and, let's see, and then plus the cost of the CM5, unless you have one to plug and play in there as well. And then the Hackberry Pi 02W, uh, I'm going to say, I think they're like 120-ish, 135-ish. The website doesn't have, have them listed right now, but if you can find one, that's roughly worth going to go for. Not including, again, the actual Raspberry Pi Zero. I appreciate you guys watching this. I know it's a super short, quick video about just kind of my thoughts on Cyberdex and where they're at right now. But definitely go check out the websites, and I'll put links for all those down below. Uh, maybe help you guys kind of figure out what you want to go with. Uh, I don't mind these at all. Like I said, the CM5 or the Pi Zero 2 version of this, it's just a trackpad is a little cumbersome. So then you're stuck using a little mouse. Uh, there are aftermarket keyboards coming into existence that may offer a trackball. Uh, and then it'll just be a new faceplate that offers a full screen area for the CM5 and possibly the uh, original Hackberry Pi there. If you guys have any questions, feel free to join my Discord. I'll put a link in the description below for that as well. And yeah, I appreciate your time as always and enjoy your week. And thank you. Don't forget to like, subscribe to us and stuff. And I will see you guys in the next video.